Today we're going to be taking a tour of Avenger cylinder heads and their latest CNC porting technology. In this video we're going to explain the basics of CNC head modification, helping you understand how this innovative porting process has become the standard by which all other methods are measured. Avenger Cylinder Heads is a sister company to Ford Performance Solutions and Pacific Performance, both popular engine builders for Ford and Chevrolet engines. They offer their own line of CNC ported cylinder heads for not only their line of Avenger heads, but also for most of the other cylinder heads on the market. Let's get started. Before you can begin the actual CNC porting process, you must have a port design that the CNC machine has been programmed with. This port design is a map of what and where to port in your cylinder head. Avenger, as does all CNC porting companies, starts with a hand ported design. With an extensive R&D process, Avenger fine tunes each port design with their Superflow flow bench to ensure maximum airflow. Oftentimes, over 16 different port shapes, designs and variations are tried to keep port velocity high and to get maximum under the curve CFM. Other factors that are considered during this process is port volume, combustion chamber profile, swirl and tumble. Once a final port design is developed, the design is digitised. Avenger's digitizer indexes key points off the hand-ported head and converts those points into specific instructions for the CNC machine to replicate. This is called a tool path, and that means that the CNC machine is instructed to move the porting bit through a given area at a given speed. During the actual CNC porting process, Avenger will load a cylinder head into the CNC machine and it will run through the entire cylinder head porting and machining the intake and exhaust port, bowl areas, combustion chamber and tear dropping the valve guides. Finally, Avenger will double check the CNC head against the ported original. Once the test head passes Avenger's inspection and the Superflow's flow bench numbers, final mass production can begin. Let's take a closer look at what happens inside of one of Avenger's 5-axis CNC's. First, the CNC machine cuts the combustion chamber and valve bowl of the bare head. Depending on the bore size of the engine and the desired compression ratio, the combustion chamber may be modified to one of several different chambers that Avenger has developed for that particular head. Next, the 5-axis machine flips the head over and it begins the porting process on both the intake and exhaust ports. One critical thing here, the intake and exhaust port and the valve bowl porting are done in three separate operations, and the match between the bowl side and the port side is extremely important. This operation is done correctly by having good quality equipment and making sure that your cylinder head is indexed properly in relation to the tool during setup. One thing we thought was interesting, the CNC machine actually keeps active track of the shank of the porting tool to try to keep it from colliding with the port entry while reaching deep into the port. This is critical or the tool will snap or gouge the port. With the CNC porting completed, Avenger set up the heads on a seat and guide machine where a custom radius seat valve job is done, customised to the style and head. From there, Avenger then hand blends any steps formed from the cutting tool and blends in the valve job to a smooth finish. Finally, Avenger hand assembles the cylinder head with premium springs, valves and valve train hardware. So when they are shipped to the end customer, they are ready to install. We hope you've enjoyed this video on CNC Porting 101 and a special thank you to Avenger Cylinder Heads for letting us take over their shop for an entire day.